Hey, how's it going, y'all? I want to do a, do a public service announcement here. I should first test to make sure I can flip this camera while it looks like that works. Okay, so <clears throat> a couple of years ago, we bought um, a pair of these big convertible refrigerator freezer deals, right, where it'll work as either way. They're like 21.3 uh, cubes. They're, they're big monster stuff. And it... And nevertheless, anyway, I, with, I don't know, we got them like two years ago and change. The warranty ran out. One of them has taken a shit. I said, well, let's see if we can't fix this thing and, and recharge it. Um, half of the coils were getting cold. The other half were not. So I knew it was a leak in the refrigerant. Um, this particular, the flavor of these guys are a, a Kenmore. Um, but there's some things that I didn't realize at the time when we bought it. We'd bought it from Sears online they delivered them and anyway it was a debacle but we got them and then when I get behind this thing to try to do some work to it I see this look at this cyclopentane I'm like well what the hell is that oh risk of fire what the hell's going on so a little bit of diggling cyclopentane apparently is the type of blow-in foam that they use on the refrigerators oh, well that that didn't get me anywhere but okay I'll just I won't catch a refrigerator on fire but then I come down here and I get to looking and at the compressor, see if this would focus up. There we go. You see the big flammable logo there? And that where it says R600A next to the fire. Like, well, what the hell is R600A? It's not, well, I mean, they're using it as refrigerant, but it's isobutane. It's not R134, not R12, R22, any of that. Like, it is freaking isobutane it's what's in your Bic lighter and near as I can tell there's a couple times as much as what's in a Bic lighter so I found a bunch of inherent problems a little bit of dog fur in here don't pay any attention obviously you know we have the mutts right but so there's some things going on here um get this power cord out of the way and I'll explain to you like the downfalls of current refrigerators so Evaporator coils. You know, they used to be a big coil that sat here with a fan blowing across it. Well, this is so much more efficient that they put the evaporator coil down in here, and that's a piece of copper line that is wrapped in heat shrink tubing. And obviously, as the, as the evaporation, you know, you, you get moisture on here, condensate, right? Condensation goes into the pan. The condensated liquid helps keep the evaporator cool, right? But now you've got copper inside of heat shrink tubing that might get a hole in the heat shrink tubing. And then because the copper's laying in water, it corrodes. They've also got copper to aluminum brazed connections here. Copper to aluminum will always corrode. It's going to be a failure point. So then the real rub with this is like if you had, if you had Freon, there are, there are things like puncture valves, right? That you can, you can clamp onto a line and it has a little turn screw. To poke a hole in here to be able to add more refrigeration to the system but with this you've got the risk of blow yourself up with isobutane and apparently they're doing this with all refrigeration now so like your freaking air conditioning unit your refrigerators your freezers your ice makers all of this shit is explosive and i thought well that's kind of fucked up, so I just kind of looked around on the internet, and you would not believe, just go do yourself a favor and Google refrigerator explosions. It is absolutely insane. Now, they say they're doing this because of it's safer for the environment to have propane exposed to the, uh, uh, to the atmosphere as opposed to, you know, refrigerant, but R134 is not explosive. I mean, I, I don't... I, I was pissed off when they did that and took R12 and R22 away from us, but this this is ridiculous, man. So I had to buy a whole new unit. I called first and verified what refrigerant does the unit have. The gal on the phone looks it up. She says, oh, it's R134A. Well, now the new unit has come in. That's this guy here. It's a it's a GE, I believe. Um, but it's, it, it's the exact same fucking thing. It's R600A isobutane. I just, I'm, I'm blown away by this. I don't know 
I mean, they're, people don't realize it, number one. I, I didn't. I, I reckon probably 99% of anybody that watches this video also won't realize it. But I, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. Dogs are out here being contrary. It doesn't make any sense to me why we would put little bombs in people's houses and call it good for the environment. Um, I, I don't know. Do we get a hold of legislators? Do we get somebody had to have made this some sort of rule, right? Or if they haven't, somebody needs to make a rule that they shouldn't do this. I the whole thing just seems exceptionally weird to me. Y'all, let me know what you think. Uh, I, I'd be curious as to what other people's uh, opinions are of this. So, nevertheless, we have a a twenty one point three cubic foot closet now uh, that I got to do something with. I I think I'm going to haul it outside, and I'm going to try to add more fucking butane to it and see if it works. If I blow it up, at least I can blow it up in the yard. And, you know, I have a pretty good policy, so if I lose fingers, it'll be okay. But I, I'm just, I'm blown away by the whole damn thing. Anyway, let me know what y'all think, and check your appliances. See what they're doing. The next time you're in the market to buy a refrigerator, an ice maker, any of that shit, look and see what it runs on. All right, y'all. Deuces. One love.